Hey, sneaky this back. We've got Lighthouse Pup 5 here for you. Now, I thought it was going to be like Pup Linux 5, but it's not. So here we go anyway. On your widget bar, you've got the usual video player. We'll open that, see what one it is. It's GXZ, and I was expecting a bit more. Buried in the downloads, over 600 meg, you know what I mean? Music player, on the other hand, BMP. Nice little touch. Ain't seen that for a while. Blimey. You play it along. It streams it away for us, and off we go. That's alright, isn't it? No big deal, but it's alright. I just was expecting a little bit more, so we'll find out in a bit why it's so bloated, shall we say. Well, it's not bloated, it's just a lot of stuff there. That's Abbey Word, G Numeric, the usual. Gimpy's all there. Look and feel. We'll open the look and feel up for you. It's just basically you set up the time, mouse, keyboard, country, GTK, theme chooser, etc, etc, etc. Oh yeah. Oh, your widget bar. You can configure it, get new icons, choose your icons, move the icons, add icons. Oh yeah, that's alright. Then we've got processors. The usual was in the last one. I did one not too long ago, I don't think it was. Anyway, that's not too bad. So where's all this stuff come from? Let's have a look. Right, and then we'll find out in a minute. It's very quick, by the way. Very, very quick. Likes its RAM as well. Loads of stuff in there. Bloody hell. I could be all day. Okay, set up. Mm, usual in setup. System. Usual. Blimey. Look at that. Loads of wine stuff. No wonder it's so big. I was expecting Open Office for, for that sort of download, but I wasn't going to get it. So there's your wine drive and all that, and then mounters and what have you. All there. You could be playing with this thing for quite a long while, me thinks. Quite a long while. There you go, documents, Abbey Word, as I said, and you get the CMAKE Composer, Junior America, as I said, Bcrypt, the usual, network, quite a bit there, internet, quite a bit, I was still expecting a little, little bit more, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm telling you, people still use it? Wine IE Explore. Now I thought, let's have some fun, and open this little baby up, see what we're getting for our buck here, you know, because it's a big, big download. Lots of big old bit of RAM, and I'm still waiting, I'm waffling on to you, and it's still updating. And I want to know what's at the end of it. Is it Internet Explorer Vive One? Because if so, well, I don't want it. So I waited, oh, blimey, it's gone. And then this is a really sluggish bit actually, I wasn't expecting this either, because other parts are perhaps a whoosh, aren't they really? And it takes us to Wine HQ. But if you like wine and you want to do some stuff with wine, that's fine. But not for me, really. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Where should we go? Right, if, you, if you left click, you get that. If you right click, you get your menu again. Same as all pups, no different whatsoever. I mean, there's plenty of applications and stuff in here. Audacity comes as standard, that's a nice one, but that's not really a, a big download, is it? I think it's about 15 meg, something like that. So, you know, 600 meg when ordinary pups like 100 and odd. You know, tell me, tell me, tell me, was it worth it? Well, yes, it's quick, and it's okay, and if you've got a fast internet connection, it's lovely. New Sea Monkey, look at that, 2.04, very, very nice. Text could be a bit bigger for me, but then I'm blind, so there we go. I'll chug over to the iPlayer, make sure Flash is already pre-installed for you to do all your video watching and stuff like that. Looks good, looks good. We'll just click on that one. I'm not going to play it, we'll just make sure it comes up and we get the click to play icon. That's what we really, really want, isn't it? And that's going to play. So, it looks really nice on the screen, actually, on my little screeny weeny here. Very, very clear and bright. Very good, the monk. The monk has come of age, as they say. So, it was not much more to say about it. Personally, I would have kept the wine stuff out, but obviously he wants it there to get some stuff running. But, not my cup of tea, but very, very nice, though. Very, very nice. As you can see, down right-hand side. Using 209 mm RAM as it is. Now, when I first booted up, we were looking at 350. I gave it quite a bit of swapping out, though. There you go, I wrong clicked again. Oh, anyway, sneaky Linux going out.